Ring the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Hey guys, it's Kylie. There is a really pretty art display near a trail that me and my boyfriend go on walks on and Devin pointed at it and said, hey, you should do your makeup like that. So here we are. Um, the blue part with the rhinestones is obviously very inspired by the makeup from the TV show Euphoria. If you aren't already, please make sure to like and subscribe. Both of those really help out my channel. And if you wanna see how I got this look, keep watching. Okay, so my brows are on. I'll link that video in the cards above. And I have my eyelids primed. I just used the Tarte Shape Tape and the Cody Airspun Powder. First, I'm going in with the ColourPop Shoes, a rainbow palette with the shade Worth It. And I'm just buffing that in my crease a little bit higher than I normally would because I'm going to do a cut crease. Hey, dude. Chill. Now with the shade Sun Kissed, I'm going to buff that in my crease, focusing on the center of my eye. Just use this inner portion. I'm gonna use center fold to blend those two shades together, just patting it right where they meet. To deepen up the pink a little bit, I'm going in with sandbar. I'm going back in with center fold to blend those two shades together again. So I did all the same stuff on my other eye, and now I'm actually gonna take the shade Kitten Fish and put that a little bit on the very outer edge. Okay, now using the Tarte Shape Tape again, I am going to cut my crease. And I'm just going to fill those in with the concealer. Hopping over to the So Jaded palette, I'm using the shade My Precious to set that concealer in place. With a small angled brush, I'm going to take turquoise and pop that in the outer corner of my wing shape. Now I'm taking Moonlight and packing that on the very center of my lid. Change of plans, I'm gonna take that color all the way to the inner corner. Now I'm gonna take this teal shade from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and pop that on the center of my lid instead. Using my precious again just to highlight my brow bone. And my face feels pretty dry and so I'm going to use a little bit of the Smashbox Primer Oil. And I'll fill in my pores a little bit with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And it's 
sunny today, so I'm going to use the Triple Protection Skin Tint from First Aid Beauty. And it has SPF 30 in it. Now I'm taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer under my eyes and anywhere else that I need a little bit more coverage. Making sure my concealer is blended out and setting it in place with the Cody Airspun Translucent Setting Powder. Adding some more definition into my face with the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. And warming up the complexion just a little bit with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm hitting the apples of my cheeks with the Tarte Blush in Party. I'm going to pop the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and stole the show on my cheekbones. And then I'll take the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and be my highlight on top of that. Also hitting my nose and my cupid's bow. Redefining my big freckle real quick with the e.l.f. brow pencil. I'm lining my lips with the Ofra Lip Liner in Silk. And just topping that off with a little bit of the matte cream sheen glass in double happiness. I want to keep the lips fairly simple because the eyes are so bright. Now to finish off the eyes, I am going to take the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil and line the inner half of my waterline. And now I'll line the outer half of my waterline with the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Mist Me. And now to match the upper lid, I am going to take Kittenfish and put this right on the outer corner and kind of buff it along the edge of the wing too. I'm buffing Sandbar right next to that. Center fold next to that. And sun kissed right on that inner portion. Sing stole the show again. I'm popping that on my inner corner. Now taking the Smashbox Crystallized Shimmer Drops in Moonstone on the back of my hand and picking that up with a brush, I'm going to pop that on my inner corner and I'm actually going to hit the cheekbones with that too. Now with the NYX Glitter Primer and some Amazon Rhinestones, I am going to outline this blue shape and I will spare you from that tedious process because it's going to take forever. All right, I have one eye done and I thought I would share some tips I learned along the way. Um, if you're using the same applicator for the glue and the rhinestones, um, make sure you wipe off the glue from, I'm using a little wax pencil to pick up the rhinestones, so make sure you wipe the glue off of it before you pick up the rhinestones, otherwise it'll kind of make some of them cloudy from the glue. Um, and then another thing is to do a little line of glue and then go in and put a bunch of rhinestones on at a time and work in sections instead of doing all of it at once or instead of doing a little bit of glue and then one rhinestone and a little bit of glue or in one rhinestone. That really sped up the process. And so now I'm gonna go and do the other eye and I'll be right back. I'm done! Oh gosh, it took 20-30 minutes I think. 
So worth it though. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna line and lash and I'll be right back. Okay, the lashes are on. I used the Kiss Lashes in Ritzy, the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive, the Bambi Eye Mascara to match, the Bambi Eye Mascara to mesh my lashes with those, and then I concealed the lash line with the NYX Epic Ink Liner. And that's the finished look.